For the past three years, we've significantly changed that trajectory and really completely reset expectations as we've gone from first-gen Ryzen to second-gen, now to third-gen Ryzen. We were the first to launch a seven nanometer desktop processor, and today, third-gen Ryzen leads in so many areas. We're the highest in multi-threaded performance. We are the best in terms of power efficiency, and third-gen Ryzen is an absolutely great gaming processor. But as you know, we're really ambitious, so our work with Ryzen is never done. Our engineers have been on this maniacal focus of what can we do more, what can we do better, so today, we're here to talk about our brand new CPU core. Yes! You've all been waiting for it. It's all about Zen 3. And with Zen 3, we focused again on bringing the best to the PC market. I'm so proud of what we've accomplished. Zen 3 increases our lead in overall performance. It increases our lead in power efficiency. And also now, it delivers the best single-threaded performance and gaming performance as well. We've made massive changes in the core architecture, and I'm sure all of you want to know what's inside Zen 3. Definitely. So let me hand it over to AMD CTO Mark Papermaster to give you all the details. Mark? So my 10900K could be rest in peace. Well, thank you, Lisa. I couldn't be more excited than to share a little bit more about Zen 3 and our progression to get here. It's been quite a journey. We set a course over five years ago to design a family of high-performance x86 CPUs. Our goal, very simply, outright leadership. We set up the team so that development of multiple processor generations could be done in parallel with designers leapfrogging from one generation to another. This has resulted in consistent delivery to the market as promised. I could not be more proud than to help unveil our third generation of Zencore debuting in Ryzen desktops this fall. It is a beast in performance and will deliver absolute leadership in the x86 market. Zen brought us back into high performance with a 52% improvement in, in structure per clock in a single generation. It built a strong base for our, us to build upon as we developed the Zen family. Last year, Zen 2 brought double digit percent increase in, in structure per clock and debuted seven nanometer in chiplet technology. That seven nanometer efficiency enabled leadership, multi-core performance, and core density. The innovative chiplet implementation allowed us ease of manufacturing with the small seven nanometer die and scalability to leadership core counts, and now Zen 3. Wow, what a great job by the design team to improve every aspect of the CPU, delivering leadership performance in that same seven nanometer node. Higher frequency, higher in structure per clock, with design improvements across all of the CPU components and lower latency on top of that. You look at uh, some of the key elements. There's a new layout of our processor that brings all the cores onto a unified eight core complex. And that accelerates core to core communication. That's especially ho helpful for gaming workloads. That consolidation actually allows every core to directly access the 32 megabytes of L3 cache. And that dramatically accelerates workloads that are latency sensitive, like gaming. And finally, significant changes throughout the Zen 3 architecture, generating a 19% instruction per cock uplift. That's on top wow. of the significant gains that we had just in the mid of last year with Zen 2. Altogether, Zen 3 is our most significant architectural update yet across the Zen family. We made the Zen 3 floating point and integer execution units wider, more flexible, and allows us to deliver more execution capability to the user at a lower latency. We've increased the number of loads and stores that we can do versus Zen 2, helping us feed those wider execution capabilities of Zen 3. We've added more branch prediction bandwidth. It allows Zen 3 to tackle back-to-back -back predictions much more quickly, reducing the delays. We call it zero bubble. These innovations keep Zen 3 ahead of the industry norm on generational improvements and position Zen 3 based Ryzen to be a clear desktop performance leader. Microprocessor performance engineering never has one single bullet. It takes 
focused microprocessor engineering. It's a broad set of improvements that are needed to make a great architecture. It takes innovation on all of the key levers. Zen 3 is a total front to back redesign. The microarchitecture had a laser focus on performance on every element, end to end improvements, caching, load store, our execution units, our prefetching, our dispatch, our decode. Zen 2, in fact, had been organized with two four core cache complexes and it was tightly integrated. Uh, that was a very good design, but what we found is that we brought that together into that single unified cache core complex, uh, that we brought that uh, direct access to 32 megabytes of L3 cache rather than the 16 megabytes that we have with Zen 2. That direct access to a cache pool of this size is very significant for gaming. They tend to make frequent use, of course, of the memory subsystem, and in fact, many games have a dominant thread. And that makes especially heavy use of the cache, and that thread now sees effectively twice the L3 cache in Zen 3. So every core can now communicate directly to the cache without traversing across the die. And that reduces latency. And it stays synchronized for applications using AI, audio, physics, and more. You can see that we continue our relentless commitment makes to energy efficiency with every generation. We're always honing our design methodologies to focus on performance per watt, even as we make the processors faster for gamers. Zen 3 is no different, delivering up to 24% improvement in power efficiency versus the prior generation. That's double digit performance per watt uplift in the same process node. And that's on top of all the architectural changes that we drove in to drive up the performance. Our commitment to energy efficiency across time has put us to the got a 1700X. Seat. Today, <laughs> we're more than 2.8X more efficient than competing high-end desktop processors. And that's wow. only a strengthening of the leadership that we demonstrated during the prior Zen 2 era. We will not let up going forward. We're focused on execution. Zen 3 is shipping as promised in the 5 nanometer Zen 4 on track in design. The AMD team is hitting on all cylinders and there's no shortage of innovations for the next generation of Zen processors to keep AMD in the forefront and deliver the best compute experience for our customers. Thank you. And let me welcome back Lisa to now show off our Zen 3 and new Ryzen processors. Thank you, Mark. That was great. I'm so proud of what the team has accomplished with Zen 3. We really focused on what is most important for gamers and enthusiasts. And at 19% IPC increase, it's our largest increase generation over generation since we launched the Zen family. So now let's see Zen 3 in action. I'm so proud to show you for the very first time the AMD Ryzen 5000 series for high performance PCs, the world's first Zen 3 powered CPU. This is the AMD Ryzen 9 5900X. 12 cores, 24 threads, and a boost up to 4.8 gigahertz. It's a very special product, the ultimate enthusiast processor. Compared to the 3900XT, the 5900X has 19% higher IPC, higher clock speeds, and all of the Zen 3 core improvements that Mark talked about, all while remaining at 105 watts. This wow. makes Ryzen 5900X a big upgrade from third gen Ryzen all around, but especially in gaming. Now let me turn it over to Robert Halleck to show you the 5900X in action. Thanks, Lisa. Hey everyone, let me give you a sense of just how much faster the 5900X is compared to our current best, the 3900 XT. To do that, we're gonna use Shadow of the Tomb Raider, a game I personally love, and a game reviewers often look at to judge CPU performance. We're going to run the built-in benchmark here at 1080p using the high image quality preset on two otherwise identical systems. Uh, and of course, you I've got a 3900X, haven't I? 28% increase just by moving from the 39XT to the 5900X in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And as you will soon see, the performance from the 5900X is faster than the competing processors as well. Now, as any enthusiast knows, 28% from a processor change is a massive upgrade. Wow. But that's what AMD customers like me can look forward to. This truly demonstrates the gaming strength for Zen 3 
when you combine the historic IPC uplift, Unify cores, and Unify cache pools. It's going to be great in laptops, isn't it? Now, as we zoom out to look at a wider set of games, you can see that the 28% uplift in Shadow of the Tomb Raider is joined by many titles with significant double-digit performance improvements. The gains are even bigger in titles like CSGO and League of Legends, where the highest possible frame rate is practically the number one priority to be competitive. Overall, gamers upgrading from the Ryzen 3000 series to the Ryzen 5000 series can expect an average performance improvement of 26% at 1080p. Again, this is just a monumental performance jump for an in-socket upgrade in the same motherboard, and a true testament for how good Zen 3 is in gaming. Now, as many know, strong gaming performance relies on strong single core performance. That's exactly what Zen 3 has. And I want to show you using Cinebench R20 single thread. There are many ways to assess single thread performance, but Cinebench is a fast and easy tool that you can run at home. And it's one of the 25 workloads that we used to calculate the 19% improvement for Zen 3's instructions per cycle. As you can see, the 5900X is the first desktop processor to ever break a 600 score. We don't break it by a little, we break it by a lot Jeez. with a score of 631. We at AMD heard you loud and clear as you challenged us to continue investing in single core performance and the results speak for themselves. The combination of IPC, frequency, cores, and cache give AMD the fastest cores in the desktop market and give you the best possible gaming performance. So let's take that landmark core performance into a head-to-head -head battle. Across the same set of games you just saw, the AMD Ryzen 9 5900X is a clear winner at 1080p. As I promised you, AMD wins in Shadow of the Tomb Raider by plus six, and is joined by many other games popular with reviewers and users like you. League of Legends and CSGO are once again standout victories for the Ryzen 9 5900X. So that was a lot of data very quickly. Let's take a step back, let's recap. You saw an average uplift of 26% for Ryzen customers upgrading from the 3000 series to the 5000 series. You just watched AMD deliver the highest single core performance in the entire desktop PC market. And you just saw AMD clearly offer the best performance of any gaming processor on the market. I will put it plainly. We know that you're gonna wait for benchmarks, but customers who buy processors purely for their gaming performance will absolutely want a Ryzen 9 5900X for the best possible PC gaming experience. Now let's bring Lisa back up to give wow. you more details it's on these awesome insane, gaming isn't processors. It? Thanks, Robert. That was fantastic. I hope you're all now convinced that the Ryzen 9 5900X is the best gaming processor in the world. Now let's look at the stack. In the 5000 series, we have a great choice for every gamer or PC enthusiast. In addition to the 5900X, we have the 5800X, an eight core, 16 thread processor with boost frequencies up to 4.7 gigahertz at 105 watts. And we also have the 5600X, a six core, 12 thread CPU with boost frequencies up to 4.6 gigahertz at 65 watts. Now let's talk about price and availability. The six core 5600X is $299. The eight core 5800X is $449. And the amazing 5900X, combining the leadership performance and power efficiency of Zen 3 in a 12 core, seven nanometer design is priced at $500. And $49. And all of these will be available globally on November 5th. We're really proud of the 5000 series, but you know we're not done. We love our enthusiasts, and there's one more processor in our stack, which is the ultimate processor for gaming and content creation. For those of you who want the very best processor in a desktop PC, we have the 16 core Ryzen 9 5950X. The 5950X is simply an amazing CPU. 16 cores, 32 threads, and our fastest processor with boost frequencies up to 4.9 gigahertz. 
The 5950X breaks the Cinebench R20 single-threaded record that Robert set just a few minutes ago with a score of 640. It is truly the best in class in every dimension. Best gaming performance meets best processor for content creation, and all of this still at 105 watts. Now let's take a look at some of the performance. If we look at the generational uplift from the 3950X to the 5950X, we see up to 27% more performance in CAD workloads and 12% more performance in rendering workloads. More impressively, we see up to 29% more gaming performance. And this is really how we bring the best of both worlds together. The best for gamers and the best for creators. And now, if you put 5950X against the top of the stack from the competition, we see that the 5950X provides up to 59% more creative performance in rendering workloads, double-digit wins in video editing and software compiling, and we also win in lightly threaded CAD workloads as well. We're really proud of the fact that we also win in gaming. There's nothing like the 5950X in the world. One processor that delivers the best power efficiency, our highest clock speeds, the highest single core performance in the industry, and the highest multi-core performance of any gaming processor. And it's priced at $799 and will also be available globally on November 5th. I hope you're now as excited about I AMD Ryzen jobs. 5000 series as I am. Zen 3 is really amazing, and I'm so happy we could show it to you today. But you guys send me a lot of notes and a lot of tweets, and I know that you're not just excited about Ryzen 5000 series, but there's a tremendous amount of enthusiasm and curiosity about our Radeon lineup as well. So the next few weeks are just an amazing time for us. In addition to introducing our Ryzen 5000 series, we're also going to introduce our next-gen Radeon GPU, and I want to give you a small preview of that today. This is the AMD Radeon RX 6000 series, which we now affectionately call Big Navi, thanks to many of you who nicknamed it for us. It is absolutely gorgeous and by far the most powerful gaming GPU we have ever built. We got a lot of requests from our fans on social, and I heard a whole conversation on The Full Nerd last week about wanting to see Zen 3 and Big Navi in action. So today, I'm going to show you a preview of what you can expect from AMD Ryzen 9 5900X and our Radeon 6000 series. We've been doing a tremendous amount of work optimizing gameplay with Ryzen 5000 and Radeon 6000 series. So let me show you today Borderlands 3, which is a very popular AAA title running at 4K resolution on the Ryzen 5900X and our Radeon 6000 series. Just take a look at that performance. Over 60 frames per second at 4K with beautiful image quality. We are super excited with what we've accomplished with Big Navi. In addition to Borderlands 3, here's a bit more of a performance preview on Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Gears of War 5 at ultra settings in 4K. And again, what you see is tremendous 4K performance across the board. We still have a few weeks until launch and the team is working really hard on fine tuning things. But I hope you're as excited as we are yeah, about what Ryzen good. 5000 series and Radeon 6000 series can do together for your next generation PC. So that brings us to the end. I hope you enjoyed today. It's been so much fun spending time with you. We have a lot more to show you later this month. So join us again on October 28th, where we'll give you the full story of our AMD Radeon RX 6000 series and make sure you mark your calendar for November 5th to find Ryzen 5000 series on shelf worldwide. Bots, Take care watch and out. see you soon. All right, excellent. I think that's fantastic. I'm certainly pretty excited. I mean, hopefully the bots don't buy them all, uh, as I mentioned. So uh, I'm certainly gonna try and get them and uh, do some comparisons against my 10900K. I've got my uh, new desktop, uh, as well as my 3900X, which I still haven't put in my computer. So. And no doubt I'll have a big sale when I uh, need to sell them all. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.